So what does Eindhoven has to offer? Okay, so in this video we will explore Eindhoven to see what can you do in Eindhoven, what attractions can you visit and is it just a boring town or do you actually have something to do? Alright, with that being said, let's begin! Eindhoven is a vibrant city in the southern part of the Netherlands. Here's an overview of what makes Eindhoven noteworthy. Eindhoven is known for its strong ties to technology and innovation, earning it the nickname Brainport. The city is home to the Eindhoven University of Technology and the High Tech Campus, where many tech companies and startups are based. The legacy of Philips, the electronics giant, founded in Eindhoven also has significantly influenced the city's technological landscape. Eindhoven is a hub for design and creativity. Yes, the Design Academy of Eindhoven is renowned for its innovative approach to design education. And the annual Dutch Design Week held in October is one of the largest design events in Northern Europe. This focus on design and creativity has given Eindhoven a reputation as a city where technology and art intersect. The city has a rich cultural scene with museums like the Van Abbas Museum which features contemporary art and the Philips Museum which we'll see in a minute in this video that is dedicated to the history of Philips and its impact on the city. Music, theater and festivals are also significant aspects of Eindhoven's cultural life. Also. Eindhoven is well connected by train and road, making it accessible from other parts of the Netherlands and Europe. The Eindhoven Airport is a growing regional airport, offering flights to various European destinations, and is also an airport that is preferred by the low-cost airlines like Wizz or Ryanair, which makes transit by airplane to the Netherlands much more affordable. Eindhoven has a diverse population partly due to its role as a tech and design hub. This diversity is reflected in its food scene with various international cuisines available throughout the city. Now let's talk more about Philips which is a global technology company that everybody knew but I don't know if you knew that the roots are in Netherlands actually in Eindhoven itself. Let's have a more detailed look at Philips legacy in this city. Philips was founded in Eindhoven in 1891 by Gerard Philips and his father Frederick. The company's initial focus was on manufacturing light bulbs, but it quickly expanded into a broad range of electronics and electrical devices as Philips grew so its influence on Eindhoven's development. In the early 20th century, Philips established a large industrial complex in Eindhoven, attracting workers from across the region and contributing to the city's rapid growth. The Philips factories became a significant part of Eindhoven's industrial landscape, creating an employment and driving technological innovation. Now, Philips's commitment to research and development led to the establishment of various research facilities in Eindhoven, contributing to the city's reputation as a center for technology and innovation. Anyone remember the term Brainport? The Philips Research Labs, also known as NetLab, played a key role in developing groundbreaking technologies including the compact disc, yes, the CDs, and various medical imaging devices. Philips' influence extended beyond industry and technology. The company played a significant role in shaping Eindhoven's social fabric by supporting community activities, education and sports. PSV Eindhoven, the city's famous football club, was founded in 1913 as a sports club for Philips employees. 
and since has become a prominent team in Dutch football. Philips has a long history of design innovation contributing to Eindhoven's status as design hub. The Philips team has designed iconic products that have won numerous awards. Now let's talk about the Philips Museum which it was basically created to celebrate its history and legacy. The museum showcases the company's history from its early light bulbs to modern innovations. Visitors can explore interactive exhibits and learn about Philips's role in shaping technology and culture. Although Philips has since moved its headquarters to Amsterdam, its legacy in Eindhoven continues. The high-tech campus Eindhoven, which originated as a Philips Research Center, is now a thriving technology park housing numerous high-tech companies and startups. This campus has become a significant innovation hub with a strong focus on research, development, and entrepreneurship. Well, that being said, we can confidently say that Philips' legacy in Eindhoven has touched almost every facet of the city's growth from the technological aspect to the cultural side to the social landscape the company's impact on the city's growth is measurable and is very interesting how philips is continuing to invest in this city now let's talk about some fun facts about eindhoven did you know that eindhoven is sometimes called the city of light due to its historical association with philips company which started as a light bulb manufacturer the glow festival an annual light art festival held in the city celebrates this heritage with stunning light installations and artwork I have previously mentioned about PSV Eindhoven, the football club. Well, here's more details about it. PSV Eindhoven, the city's famous football club, you know, the one that was founded by Philips employees. This club has won numerous national championships and international titles, making it one of the top football teams in the Netherlands. Van Abba Museum, this contemporary art museum in Eindhoven is known for its avant-garde collection, including works by Picasso, Kadinsky, and Mondrian. The museum's innovative approach to exhibitions and public engagement has earned it a strong reputation in the art world. Strip S this former industrial area was once a key site for Philips manufacturing operations. Today, it has been transformed into a trendy urban district filled with creative spaces, studios, cafes, shops, and event venues. Strip S is a symbol of Eindhoven transformation from an industrial city to a hub of innovation and creativity. Evolion! So Evolion is a unique futuristic building in Eindhoven initially built by Philips in the 60s as a science and technology exhibition center. Its distinctive flying saucer shape has made it an architectural icon. Today, it's used as a conference and event venue. Well, like many Dutch cities, Eindhoven is a highly bike-friendly city with extensive cycling infrastructure. Now let's talk about Eindhoven's architecture and its fascinating blend of modernism, industrial heritage and innovative design just absolutely shines here. The city's history shaped by its industrial roots and rapid growth has contributed to a diverse architectural landscape. Let's talk about the modernist influences. Eindhoven underwent significant growth in the 20th century. We know why. Leading to a strong modernist influence in its architecture. It is visible in many buildings and structures that prioritize function and clean lines while experimenting with new materials and construction methods. Strip S is a prime example of Eindhoven's industrial heritage 
repurposed for modern use. We know that previously it was used by Philips as a manufacturing site, and now it's a vibrant urban district filled with creative spaces. The redevelopment of these industrial buildings has preserved so much of the original character while adding contemporary elements it's creating an appealing mix of old and new Eindhoven's city center features a mix of contemporary high-rise building and traditional dutch architecture the piazza and surrounding areas include modern shopping centers office buildings and residential towers contributing to the city's urban landscape. The circular cycling bridge is a striking example of Eindhoven's innovative approach to infrastructure. Suspended above a major intersection, the Hovenring provides a safe and unique passage for cyclists, illustrating the city's commitment to sustainable and bike-friendly design. Now, the residential areas for Eindhoven reflect a range of architectural styles, from traditional Dutch row houses to modern apartments and suburban developments. The city's rapid growth has led to new residential projects that incorporate sustainability and contemporary design principles. One thing that I really noticed in this city compared to Amsterdam and Rotterdam is that this city is very much spread out. It has air to breathe, even though it is a pain in the ass to travel to because Evolion, the, the piazza in the city center, everything else is very much spread out. The Philips Stadium, the Philips Museum, the DAF Museum, they're all spread out. Better plan ahead and be prepared to use the public transport. Otherwise, you won't be able to visit them all. If you think that Philips is the only company that came out of Eindhoven, you would be mistaken because there is DAF, which is a well-known Dutch truck manufacturing company. DAF, short for Van Dorn's Aanwagen Fabriek, was founded in 1928 in Eindhoven by brothers Hub and Wim Van Dorn. Initially, the company was focused on producing trailers and semi-trailers. In the 40s, DAF diversified into building trucks, later buses, becoming one of the major European truck manufacturers. The company became known for its innovation and engineering quality. In the 60s and 70s, DAF ventured into passenger car manufacturing. However, in the 70s, DAF's passenger car division was acquired by Volvo, which continued to produce cars based on DAF designs. Today, DAF no longer manufactures passengers' car. However, it has continued to focus on truck production, becoming a major player in the European truck industry. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.